Rise and shine. This is the motto of workers around the world in corporate jobs, self-employment, artists, and even factory workers. But for these workers employed in the postal service industries, it is also about delivering smiles, excitement, love, and sometimes even be the bearer of bad news. Since 9th October is celebrated as World Post Day, our team decided to take a survey. highlighting the awareness of this vital sector and the results were a mixed bunch people aged between 31 to 50 and 50 above who were a part of the survey claimed to know about the existence and the significance of the postal services however those who were in the 10 to 20 year old category were far less aware and indifferent towards the postal services we took it upon ourselves to make this documentary in order to bring to the limelight the postal services and the importance in our day to day lives and to share information on world post day conventionally we should delve into the history of post and learn about this day but let's first see postal services as they are today and how technology has shaped the industry Postal administrations have been among the first to utilize new forms of transport. They have often applied considerable technical skills in maximizing the benefits to be derived from progress in this field, particularly in originating the traveling post office concept and apparatus enabling express trains to pick up and discharge mails without slowing. The advent of aerospace and telecommunication technology in the mid 20th century gave rise to the research aimed at adapting this technology to postal systems. Since the 1950s, there has been a marked intensification of research and development efforts to apply technology to handling of mails, especially in countries faced by manpower problems and higher labor costs. Actual implementation has generally been a slower than expected. Many aspects of the process have also been impacted individually with the advent of technology. For manual sorting of letters, each operator normally uses a device with between 40 and 50 pigeon holes. This has been found by most administrations to be the optimum arrangement in view of the limited arm span and memory of the sorter. As technology has greatly impacted this sector and led into its betterment, the current generation has to. We turn to young minds in order to get some answers. Personally, I think the emergence of internet has led to a lot of alternatives for people to communicate or interact with each other. The resources which are available at low cost compared to the postal services. is i think the main fundamental reason for the downfall of postal services well obviously the internet has played a major role in this but apart from the technological factors i think that people today are more inclined towards services that offer the luxury of convenience and have very less impact on the environment they save a lot of storage in trees these and things you know believe me if you talk in those terms i cannot live without it But well, to answer your question, I think that it's just that there is no other alternative here. Technologies are at a developing stage. Postal service is a very important and key aspect that completes the e-commerce circle, and they support the e-commerce operations to a very great extent. And in my opinion, they both are very important to each other. 
Yes, definitely. Disengaging from social media is not that easy. It's like having a whole new experience. But I would love to send and receive postcards from my family and friends during their travels. It would be like getting a glimpse of the time away or like a snapshot of their trip. Yeah, I still believe in that personal touch, especially for greetings and invitations. I think it leaves a physical imprint of emotion on that piece of paper. And some uh, physical handwritten notes between two people can be a great way to remember memories and it could have worked out. Millennials and Gen Z seem to have a strong preference for electronic alternatives to mail correspondence and bill payment. However, they still see value in the personal touch of mail. The working of the postal services has been highly functional and systematic all around the world. The worldwide postal system comprising the individual national postal systems of the world's self-governing states is coordinated by the Universal Postal Union which among the other things sets international postage rates defines standard for postage stamps and operates the system of international reply coupons as mentioned before the postal services are highly systematic and efficient in order to achieve this efficiency in most countries a system of codes is created which we may know as a pin code in india the postal index number system or the pin code was introduced in 1972 it is also known as zip code or area postal code according to the results of the survey that we conducted around 60% of the people who participated in it admitted that they were not aware of how the pin code system works the first digit of the pin code is for the region for example 1 to 2 stand for north 3 to 4 are for west 5 to 6 are for south 7 to 8 for east while line is for army postal service second digit is for sub region like 11 is for delhi 12 to 13 for haryana 14 to 16 are punjab and so on and so forth the third digit is for the district the last three digits denote the post office under which a particular address falls All around the world, the most common methods of prepaying postage is by buying an adhesive postage stamp to be applied to the envelope before mailing. When a package is sent out, the stamps are cancelled, which makes the stamp unfit for reuse, and that completes the so-called payment process of sending a post. Look at them, madam. Have you ever in your entire life seen anything so beautiful? I'm sorry I don't know anything about stamps. Stamps not only form an important part of the whole process but they also symbolize the various events, personalities and eras. These are also a very popular collector's item. Stamp collecting is often called philately, which interestingly is also what the study of stamps is called. Some of the rarest stamps have sold for millions of dollars. The Treskelling Yellow is of late the most expensive stamp, having been sold for over 2.1 million euros. While 1856 British Guiana 1 cent magenta is considered the rarest stamp in the world, 10 rupees Gandhi stamp from 1948 is the most expensive Indian stamp. The Indian Postal Service has been in existence for a very long time. More so, India is one of the earliest active members of the Universal Postal Union, a specialized agency for the United Nations, having its headquarters at Bern, Switzerland. Indian Postal Service has had a saving scheme as a part of its services for a long time. As of 2016, There were more than 33.03 crore account holders of the saving scheme of the department. It's not just the incredible service the Indian Postal Service that is appreciated. The department also has 38 heritage buildings having architectural value. 
Money transfer service of India Post enables instant international money remittances to customers in India sent from 195 countries on real-time basis. This service is operational in association with Western Union from 9,942 post office locations and MoneyGram through 6,070 post office locations. Some journey it has been. for the postal services around the world we've seen the present scenario with the onset of technological developments and also took a sneak peek into the process and learned some interesting trivia so let us now look at how postal services gained traction and what led to the establishment of universal postal union the first level postal system egyptian postal system is believed to have been established in 2000 BC quite a while ago i must say this service was developed over time as general development took place however circus publicus the straight run courier and transportation service of the roman empire was established by augustus which is considered an important milestone in the history of post General Post Office established in England Charles II in 1660. It was one of the first professionally run post services in England. Closer Home Skind Dog was established in 1852 to cater to the Indus Valley of Sin. The term Skind Dog also referred to the first adhesive postage stamps in Asia. In 1854 the first stamps of India were released. Let's fast forward a bit to the year 1874 when the UPU was set up. Before UPU every pair of countries that exchanged mail had to negotiate a postal treaty with each other. In the absence of a treaty providing for direct delivery of letters senders sometimes resorted to mail forwarders who would transfer the mail to an intermediate country. These negotiations for postal treaties could drag on for years. Faced with such difficulties, the United States took the lead in calling for improvements to international mail arrangements. United States Postmaster General Montgomery Blair called for an international postal congress in 1863. Meeting in Paris, The delegates laid down some general principles for postal cooperation but failed to come on an agreement. The Treaty of Bern was signed on October 9, 1874, establishing what was then known as the General Postal Union. The treaty provided that one, there should be uniform flat rate to mail a letter anywhere in the world. Two, postal authorities should give equal treatment to foreign and domestic mail 3 each country should retain all money it has collected for international postage one important result of the treaty was that it no longer necessary to affix postage stamps of countries that a mail piece passed through in transit at the second postal union congress in 1878 it was renamed the universal postal union The purpose of celebrating this day is to bring awareness to the post in the everyday lives of people and businesses as well as its contribution to global social and economic development. Countries across the world participate annually in the celebration of World Post Day. The post in many countries use the event to introduce or promote new postal products and services. And this is why we celebrate World Postal Day on 9th of October every year and express our gratitude and appreciate the work of millions of people involved in the service from the UPU to the postman who delivers letter to your house with a smile on his face. We all use postal services in some form or another. This sector has been and always will be the most important and trusted one for years to come celebrate this day send smiles love and warmth in the form of letters postcards or parcels to your loved ones celebrate post because nothing compares to the feeling of utter satisfaction one gets 
when they see their post being stamped and delivered.